if you've never been in this car, it's not fast. It's kind of smelly. It's, it's, it's kind of got a particular sensation to it. Whether you owned one and drove it yourself, or whether you had a friend or a family member that drove you around, or even if it's just something you saw by the side of the road as an excuse to punch your sibling in the arm. My name is Paul Galloway, and I'm a collection specialist in the Department of Architecture and Design here at MoMA. And I was part of the curatorial team that put together this exhibition, Automania, which features our beautiful 1959 Volkswagen Beetle, also more officially known as the Type 1 sedan, but everybody calls it the Beetle or the Bug. This is an iconic car, one of the most famous cars ever produced, and it means a lot to tremendous numbers of people, and it's a great pleasure to see people's faces light up when they come into the gallery and see this car. They have memories associated with this car. And that idea of memories and associations is something that's been with me and throughout the, the kind of course of the preparation for this exhibition, which has been many years in the making. And in particular, the power of this car, and, but really artwork in general, to embody these things like memories and feelings and the sense of time and the sense of place, because all of those things are intangible. They're not things we can hold on to. We attach those things to things in the physical world. We root ourselves in the world through the objects that surround us in our lives. And it, in many ways, I think it, it's a, a kind of powerful collaboration with the artist. It goes beyond what the artist or the creator actually intended. In this case, it really does that, because this comes out of 1930s Nazi Germany, right? and Adolf Hitler's vision to get people on the road to modernize his country. And it fails, and the Nazi regime goes the way of history, and it really only emerges from the ashes of that, and it becomes an icon for West Germany's resurgence and uh, kind of industrialization. And then it becomes an icon for the countercultural movement of the 1960s, and then an icon in Latin America. But for me, this beetle brings up lots of associations. I remember very powerfully the sharp crack of my brother's knuckles as he would punch me in the shoulder and yell, punch buggy yellow! But I've been thinking about it in particular in the, the last couple of years because my mom had a Beetle. She had a 1968 light blue Beetle, and it was her car right out of high school, right as she went to college, and started her life as an independent woman. And that's such a thrilling moment in time, right, when everything's this open possibility. And my mom used to tell us all these stories about her Beetle and how much she loved it and what a great car it was and how nimble it was getting around in traffic. And it was the car my mom drove when she and my dad met and it became their car, and then it became their family car, and it was the car associated with the beginning of our family, which would very quickly grow to be way too many people to fit into this little car, but it was still that car associated with this particular moment. As we went through the final stages of putting together this exhibition and the challenges of the last year, whether that's remote work or Zoom school or quarantines, and all the tumultuous kind of stuff that's been with us in the last year and a half came back to the fore in my mom's sort of memories of this car. And it became particularly important in the last six months because on January 11th of this year, my mom died of COVID-19. So the pandemic became very real for me. So every time I would think about this car and work with this car, my mom came up. And she's now intangible to me and I need a place to root her. I need an object to root her to, to attach her to. And this car does that for me. So this is no longer just a random beautiful beetle for me. This is my mom's car. Her name was Rita. Rita, and this is her car. <laughs>